with a fresh installation of Dynamic Web Builder and the Genesis Framework. So what should I expect? Um, I just installed them, I haven't changed nothing, so what am I in store for here? Well, you want to verify that you have the Genesis here, the framework installed. Um, and then you have these Dynamic Settings, Design, and Custom. Make sure those are there. This is where we're going to be working a lot out of over these next series of videos. So when you first install it, and if you were to go visit your website, you're going to see this, a very basic generalized layout. There's nothing special done to it. It's just very simple. Um, what's going to allow you to change all of that is, first off, we're going to go to dynamic settings. Um, and just so you know, I'm going to cover the dynamic settings, dynamic design, and design dynamic custom, and just let you know what these tabs are all about and how we're going to be using them later. Um, first off, dynamic settings, it has three tabs here. It has the child theme info, general settings, and import export. Child theme info, it, it does exactly that. It tells you about the child theme itself, you know, the version numbers, the updates, what the tooltips are, and such like that. General settings is uh, more basic settings about the actual website, more than what WordPress itself gives you, or more than what Genesis framework itself gives you. For example, remove all titles um, from all pages. And of course, you can use a little tooltip here. Click on it, and it'll give you a complete understanding of that that specific tool. So scroll down, you know, look throughout these pages. You see page titles, custom post titles, responsive design, um, custom post thumbnails. So that's all under general settings. You move over to import export, and this allows you to export all of your settings whenever you create a website and you're happy with it and say you want a carbon copy of that exact site on another website that you've created well um, you create the site you come here you make sure all these are selected you choose a file name and you export your theme here and it'll save off to your desktop or wherever you choose and then you go to the new website you come here you select all these, you choose your file wherever it's at, and then you import it. And then you have a carbon copy, you pull in all the settings from the last website you did. So it saves you a whole lot of time. Next we're going to do dynamic design. And this is where the bread and butter of the product is. On the very top here you see how you have all the parts of a website really. First off, it's in red, so it's the body tab. The body tab, these are all the different tools that it offers to modify the body of the website. So you have your font, your body font, body background, and that just controls only the body of the website. And then you can go over to say the header of the website. Just the header. Um, you would think the header is pretty straightforward, but there is in fact a whole lot of tools here that allow you to tweak it and modify it. You go to like your navigation bars, and of course you don't even see navigation bars from the beginning, but there again, navigation bars, it gives you tons of tools to modify it. So go through here, look at them, see what you can do with it. We're going to be covering these tools, so don't worry, it may look like information overload right now, but it's going to be pretty easy. Once you do the navigation, then you ultimately have sub-navigation. And then we see how we can modify that. So you continue all the way to your content of your website the comment section of your website and of course you would think it's pretty straightforward but uh, Cobalt Tabs has offered us a whole lot of tools here to modify our comment section and overall I'm not going to cover all these in detail but I just encourage you to real quick go through each tab just to see what each one's going to allow then you have your dynamic custom and this is for the more advanced users these are the people that know how to code um, if you don't know how to code fortunately Cobalt they have started to build tools that allow you to build code without actually knowing how to code. So for example you have your CSS tab here in this box. Um, if you just know randomly um, some CSS you want to put in and you know how to code right off the top of your head, this is where you'd go. Um, if you don't know how to use CSS, well fortunately there's a CSS builder button up here and you can build CSS right here instead of having to custom code it yourself. Um, there's also that button, PHP button, that it teaches you all about the PHP, how to create that. And and these are really cool tools. You normally don't see these in other products. So Cobalt apps, they really did well with this one. Um, 
furthermore, you know, we go to like functions. Um, and there again, we're going to cover all functions. It's, it's more advanced uh, as well as JavaScript. It's more coding um, templates. We're going to be covering that, the different kinds of templates we can have and create <coughs> with our installation um, labels. We're going to go through there and we're going to learn about the different kinds of labels. Conditionals, there again, more advanced, and then widget areas. We're going to learn how to add widget areas and whatnot, uh, what different kinds, and trust me, there's a whole, whole lot of different widgets you can create. And then finally, you go, you got hook boxes, and it's the different sections of your website where you can insert hook boxes and put content in those areas that normally aren't available. And there again, there's tons of these go back to the dynamic settings and I want you to take a look down here at the bottom you have cobaltapps.com that takes you back to the home uh, website of Cobalt Apps resources which takes you to the help area my account which is of course it takes you to the my account area of Cobalt Apps community forums um, and it's exactly that it's not support forums but I will tell you you can get a ton of help in their community forums affiliates allows you to make money by selling this product and you get portion of the uh, proceeds um, and then theme settings reset this button right here don't ever click this unless you want to reset your website if you reset your website you have to rebuild everything okay one final one I wanted to make sure I cover um, they have another product which is called the um, Genesis extender which is a, a smaller product um, it is actually built into this in my opinion um, if you click this activate front end CSS builder and there again it's under dynamic custom CSS click that and then save your changes and there, always remember if you make changes and you want to see it on the actual website click save changes so I activated the front end CSS builder go to my website you see now there's nothing here I'm gonna refresh it you see that little blue button click it there's a whole lot more options now on um, every element of this website currently right now. Um, enable element selector. This is kind of cool. It points out all the little spots that are available for this page, not the site, for that page. And then of course you have your backgrounds, borders, margins, and this is all for building CSS. And it's built right into the product. And basically that is what you can expect from this product. And we're going to go through all these tools and learn all about it. So sit back uh, and just keep watching the videos and you're going to learn a whole lot.